Lincoln, who was born in Connecticut. When he grew up, he became a minister. His beliefs consisted in, of support for women's suffrage, temperance, and Darwin's theory of evolution. He held that Christianity should adapt itself to the changing culture of the times. During the 1850s, he became a well-known abolitionist and was known for, known for sending rifles to Kansas during its bloody fight for statehood. His sister wrote the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. This man was Henry Ward Beecher. I will analyze and respond to this statement Every charitable act is a stepping stone to heaven by Henry Ward Beecher. I will analyze and respond to this statement in three main points. First of all, all men are sinners. Secondly, we are not saved by works. And third, we are saved by faith. So let's take a look at my first point. All men are sinners. Romans 5 verse 12 says, Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. God originally created man in a perfect world free from sin. But as a result of man's choice to rise up in pride and rebel against God, sin entered the world, and death as a penalty for that sin. Romans 3 verse 23 reflects the truth that sin affects all people. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now it's interesting to note that to sin literally means to miss the mark. That is to miss the mark of God's glory. And we are all guilty of missing that mark. We have all fallen short because we've all inherited the sin nature. Now in our sin, we ultimately have enmity against God. Even charitable works that we try to do are tainted by our sin. Perhaps we do them out of pride or some other ungodly motive. So our charitable acts cannot be stepping stones to heaven. We have all fallen short of God's glory and we are all sinners. Romans 14 verses 1 and 3 talk about how there is no one that does good. It says, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. They have all gone aside. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. So this brings me to my second point. We are not saved by works. This statement by Henry Ward Beecher seems to reflect the belief that our good works can save us. He says every charitable act is a stepping stone to heaven. So he's basically saying that our good works put us in favor with God and ultimately save us. However, they do not, and the Bible clearly teaches this. Romans, 1 verse 20, or Romans 3 verse 20 says, Therefore by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. So by attempting to do good works and by attempting to keep God's law, we cannot be justified with God by that, because we keep on falling short. There's no way that we can ultimately keep God's law. It reflects the truth, this verse, that by the law is the knowledge of sin. And through God's law, it's our schoolmaster, as the Bible says. It shows us that we are sinners, that we cannot measure up to God's law. James 2 verse 10 says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So even if it was possible for us to live basically good lives and to maybe only slip up once or twice, God still holds us accountable for breaking the entire law because he's holy and his standard is perfection. And none of us can measure up to that standard. Galatians 2 verse 16 reflects the truth. It says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the, by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And this brings me to my third and final point. We are saved by faith. And that's what Galatians 2.16 is telling us. We are saved by faith in what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross. By him taking our sin on his shoulders and not by any good works that we attempt to do but cannot that we fail at because we are sinful. Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. And then not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. There was a man who discovered this truth. And this man, he was studying to be a lawyer. He wanted to be a lawyer. But after a dramatic experience that he had during a thunderstorm, he was riding his horse and lightning almost struck him. 
This man was fearful of death and judgment, and he vowed to become a monk. He held to his vow and entered the monastery. He believed that men are saved by works and lived in constant fear that he would not do enough good works to enter heaven. This man was ordered to teach the Book of Romans at the monastery, and he came to the truth that men are not saved by works, but by faith in Christ. He was illuminated by the grace of God, and he had peace. This man was Martin Luther, and he went on to start the Protestant Reformation. He realized that any charitable works or good works that he could do were not stepping stones to heaven, that there was no way that they could save him because he kept falling short. And that's the truth with all of us, that our good works or charitable acts that we try to do cannot save us. It's only through faith in Christ alone that we can come to saving knowledge of the truth. So we've seen that this statement by Henry Ward Beecher is false. We are not saved by our works, but we are saved through faith in Christ alone.